now we have the signal biasing so how this works is at the top of the settings we have the minimum majority signal what this is is a threshold in which the percentage of the signal in a buy or sell direction has to be higher than that in order for a position or a trade to be placed or for a position to be closed if you're using the closing facility i'll show you that later now following this we have the oscillator convergence diversion bias the oscillator direction bias and the oscillator over oversold or bought bias so what this does it basically is like a point system close to a neural network what, what this basically does is a, adding a weight or a bias against each one of these settings and this is the same throughout all the different signals for instance this oscillator converge and diverge bias is basically the convergence and divergence what percentage of the oscillators should this affect so if it's one it'll be a third if, if that's one 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 if all three are one it'll be a third but you can bias it as two then it's and it's got a, it's got to leverage over the others the second is oscillator direction bias which is basically um the direction that the oscillator is heading in this is what this bias would indicate so that's what that one is for and then we've got the overbought and the oversold bias when you know overbought or oversold zones again that would be an indication that you would if in oversold want to buy in overbought want to sell that's a, an, another bias for that so these are only for the oscillators which are down below you'll see which ones are oscillators this will affect the points of those oscillators according to their biasing or or weighting okay so now we get to the actual signals so again this is all this is all biasing relating to 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 the different signals again it works on a point system so if you've got five there and three there and two, and two then those will have higher weights than the rest so uh, it's set to everything equal at the moment but those can be optimized to get the best results you want so you've got one for each of the signals and the signals that you have in the system is the candlesticks the hakanashi hakanashi candles which is like momentum candles ichimichu uh, adx oscillator although this oscillator is not reflected with this it works slightly different the strategy there moving average signal then we have the MACD oscillator so this this is reflected with those three settings also the stochastic which is also re reflected with those three settings stochastic oscillator chicken oscillator also reflected with those three RSI bias reflected with those three too CCI also reflected with those these are all oscillators SROC and that is also reflected with those IMI bias, another oscillator reflected with those. Momentum bias, also reflected with those. And uh, awesome also reflected with those. Those, most of these are all trailing indicators. Following ones are more for more um, leading indicators. So we've got the Bollinger Band bias, not reflected by those oscillators because it's not an oscillator. Pivot points, Fibonacci and zigzag and news so these are all leading leading indicators based on where uh, if a price closes above a specific level then you enter in or, or bounces off a certain level you enter a position that's what those are for so that's that's static biasing so that you can set manually for each one of those then you've got the option to uh, add um, dynamic biasing to each one of this what this does is depending on the strength of each one of the signals there were the additional points will be allocated through the the algorithm for the strength of each one and weighed against each other you can switch these off if you want to just set the weightings by themselves but if you keep them on note that this value of the stochastic 
will be multiplied against the value of the um, dynamic biasing in which case you'll have uh, this will create a little bit more weighting on the st stochastic and if the stochastic has a light weighting and you have the dynamic weighting or biasing is not large that can always compensate for it so that's what the biasing does okay next we move on to the neutral signal actions so you have three different actions for each one you can close the position when it's in a neutral position or you can hold the position when it's in a neutral position or it can be sustained so if the last position was a cell the last non-neutral position was a cell it will remain a cell these basically affect the final results of the overall points for the threshold for a signal to be placed so th that you have the same setting for each of the 19 different signals then you've got invert signal this is the final one of the overall setting we've got trade signal invert so this will flip whatever the result of the overall signal is it will flip it the opposite direction and trade against it okay then you've got auto invert after consecutive losses what this will do is if you play zero there uh, it will never auto invert but if say you put three in there or if your ea or trading toolbox loses three times in a row it will change it will invert the signal direction so whatever the overall signal was it'll trade opposite that signal and it'll continue like that until it loses three trades again and then we'll invert the other direction so that's, that's a method of trying to limit losses okay okay following that you can have the invert for each one of the signals signals individually so if you're ever optimizing probably this set of settings here and the hold position or the types of um, actions for each position here for neutral position close last uh, um, close I mean close position hold position last position and the biasings are a good group of settings to optimize if you're optimizing 